you know, that, that's why Gundam is, like, considered the, the Star Trek of Japan. Mm-hmm. So that's kind of one of those things that you have to deal with. But it's okay, you know. That's just my thing, and I've explained it to people. I came past Wing, and so everything oh, after it, I enjoy it. Oh, this dragon design looks familiar. This looks like the Parasite Dragon. A little bit. Except with a hammerhead. Are you saying this is Black War Gray Parasite Dragon? It could be. Angsty Mon. Angsty Mon. No, don't paralyze my Wave Master. I should have bought more antidotes. Now, people might be asking uh, where I'm actually going to be going after Legend of the Twilight. Um, my next goal is just simply to watch uh, Liminality. I'm going to hit Liminality Episode 2 with Dot Hack Mutation and come back with my commentary on that. And then after that, I'm kind of bound. Um, I have to go backtrack to Kaon. Because I have not watched it in Alex's due schedule. And he's had my DVDs for over a year. Yes, I, I've had them, well, almost a year. Almost a year, okay. But you still have had them for a very long time, and yes. I'm not happy. It, it takes me a while to get to this stuff, man. I think we might be at the end here, so possible uh -oh. cutscene time. Never mind. Still another room to go. Oh, no, it's a bunch of these things. See, I've got a million hanged men. Let's let's paralyze a few of these and we'll put them to sleep. Just wish it didn't take so long to cast. Huh. That's why I said use magic, Black Rose. It's kind of funny that you're sitting there using all those scrolls. That's actually how they beat the watering AI, so to speak, in Legend of the Twilight. They have to, since the virus that she implants in all of them makes it so their abilities won't work, they have to use their scrolls. That's one of the things that took away from the fight. I wanted to see, like, Balmung and Oka and Sanjuro go, like, all out, and instead we had to resort to items. I was very disappointed with Legend of the Twilight. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I don't don't know many who will disagree with you. I, I have heard that's kind of the redheaded stepchild of the series. It really is, because it's just, there's not another series like it. Every every other dot hack before and essentially since has always been well, pretty serious. I can already tell you like a couple of things that could have improved it. One, obviously, get the incest out of there, okay? It's just, it's creepy for people to watch. The other thing I, I would say would be a humongous improvement is the either go kitty style animation with every stinking character or go adult animation like Dot Hack Sign. Don't go in between. Yeah, that was weird. Where you had the kitty kite and the kitty black rose and Mistral was Mistral, but she was still kind of kitty too. And then you had the whiplash of going to Sanjuro's character. And then going to Balmung, mm -hmm. where they look almost similar to the way they did in Sign. It's just, it's Whiplash at that point. It's like, okay, which animation design are we going to go with? Please pick one. I would have had no problem with a kiddier design. Just stick with it. I don't want to talk to you. Yeah, this is definitely the final dungeon. You can tell it's long. We're four floors and still going down. Yay! And gotta get used to it, guys. The dungeons are gonna get much longer as the next couple games progress. Obviously. Because that's been our luck lately. But as you were kind of telling me, I, I guess we're at the halfway point in this game. Actually, uh... In terms of the main story, we're pretty much, at, I think, at the end. Oh, really? Okay. I believe the final boss is actually going to be coming. In this dungeon? Yeah. Oh my gosh! 
Hear me, Kish! We're going to fight the next phase. Yes, and for the record, for people who watched the last part, Adam finally realized his bad. Um, he realizes that we, when he was posting up a YouTube part, um, that yes, we had encountered Innis. It was just not what he thought it was. <laughs> what he thought was Innis was actually Kubia. And uh, I forgot about the wandering Yu-Gi-Oh face. <laughs> the wandering Yu-Gi-Oh face? Well, he looks like a hieroglyphic. Yeah, you're right, he does. <laughs> So that's why I'm calling him the Yu-Gi-Oh face, is because it feels like Yu-Gi should be popping out and explaining why we shouldn't look into its eye. Mm, Yu-Gi boy. <laughs> Behold the power of my millennium eye. Behold the power of my millennium eye. Oh crap. Ah, this suits up physical tolerance. I was gonna say, was that a return of the uh, the big the egg golem from Sonic Adventure 2? That looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah, its arms are kind of uh, uh, cube-like. Like holy crap, really? Look at this. The dark trader. I think uh, I think at this point Sonic Team should cry lawsuit. So speaking of speaking of Sonic, I actually did give you these late E3 results that we weren't able to cover. Um, so we, we finally started getting some reviews of the demos they had of the 3DS and the Wii U Sonic Boom games. I don't know if you eventually looked up those videos, but it looks like the 3DS game is boring. As is the case with pretty much any Sonic handheld. Um, I've never liked Sonic handhelds. The, the one exception I would say would be the Sonic Advance games. I thought they were good enough. Okay, yeah, the Advance games are good. Um... But the Wii U title looks like it's going to be really good. Uh, a lot of people who are like diehard Sonic fans had no objections with it. They wanted to see what the engine was going to do. So I think that's that's a good sign. Uh, they also admitted that Styx is in the game. And actually, the funny part was you could play in the demo. You could play as Styx. You could play as Amy. You could not play as Sonic. <laughs> Why? The, the reason that a couple of them were given by the developers was... Sonic isn't done yet. Uh -huh. uh, apparently, he's getting some new mechanics or something like that. Okay. So, um, you you could play. I, I guess you could play majorably or by majority as Styx and Amy Rose. Okay. Um, and nobody had complaints about their character design. I guess you could play a little bit as Knuckles and maybe a little bit as Tails, but Sonic was not there. So. Okay. By the way, Purple Miss. Dun dun dun. Cut same time. Da -da 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 oh, sorry. No, no boss music yet. We're in the dot hack stone hinge. Dead end? But it feels strange. Welcome to Netslum. called it. Ah, disgusting. Welcome everybody to your nightmare this? fuel. This is net slum? There are those who call it that. We call it paradise. Where's Helba? I guess we should talk to the people here. It's, it's amazing too. That is a gate for only those who have been acknowledged by Helba. You cannot use it. I'd just like to say for the record, Black Rose is freaking out. Mistral's totally okay with this. <laughs> of course she is. It's either that Mistral. Or she, either that or uh, she burned another hot pocket and put us on auto follow. <laughs> so she'll come back and go, ah! The fake real? 
and the real thing? Which is real? Tis a pondering question. This is Dorian. Are you really awake right now? Don't bother pinching yourselves. Our dreams are very realistic. He must be advertising the next gen. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Really, really. Is this know. the one we came across? No, that's okay. That one was deleted. But these are all in that same thing. They're all vagrant AIs. How? Because how dare they actually gain artificial intelligence on their own? I'm starting to think Leos doesn't like anybody smarter than him. No, he really doesn't. Wow, and I was totally guessing. <clears throat> it says, as Helba calls him, he's a pighead. Okay. Oh, there. The process of seeking the truth is perfected by repeatedly questioning yourselves. Isn't it similar to the process of making distilled liquor? I name myself from this reason. Before you ask for help, it is necessary to think yourself. Hence, I do not have the intention of answering your question. I want to ask about Helba. You done? <laughs> okay, what's his name again? Kenichi Joji. Uh, what's the name of the actor? What actor? Derek Prince. St the name? Oh, Derek Stephen Prince? Derek Stephen Prince. Holy crap, he is prevalent in the series. Because he was also in Legend. Yes, he was. As a really weird character, by the way. And of course, he's Yuki Usigamaru. For those who don't, at least I think I've got the right character. He was basically Balmung's cheerleader in Legend of the Twilight. Oh, that's funny. He was supposed to be like his his assistant or whatever, but he really just was Balmung's cheerleader. Okay, I'm still need to talk to one more. I can't find him. Ah. Jin. I have enough light. Water. Give me water. And warm. There we go. I have no idea what's going on. Can I just say, the cutscenes are kind of Zenosaka-ish. A little bit. Are you looking for Helba? <laughs> Yes. It so happens I briefly heard from her recently. The epitaph of Twilight. To sum it up in a nutshell, it is a tale. Or to elaborate further, it is a saga that recounts how the age of the spirits came to an end. The tale of an end? Indeed. However, the texts are scattered. Even if found, they are extremely difficult to comprehend. Yes, it'll be a very tricky business. Say, uh, there's something that's been bothering me. The people around here, they all look so different from anybody I've seen anywhere else. This place was once where all of the unsuccessful non-player characters drifted. Sort of a sanctuary for failures. Then, players who considered them amusing came up with their own variations of failed characters. Now, the boundary between player and non-player characters is quite indistinct. Some of them simply don't know which category they fall into. There are, maybe, even those who have lost their bodies on the outside. Mere memories, faded reminders of the individuals they once were. Only their character data remains intact and active as they wander the network. Yes, the same fate as Harold. Harold? I must speak with Morgana to go where she is. The living flesh poses a hindrance, but I must. I must go. For our aura. Emma, please give me a little more courage. Helba!
They're the words of the creator of this world, Harold Hewick. Well, you wanted to see me? Wow, with the hip sway. Epitaph of Twilight. Both of you have succeeded in reaching it as well, I see. Oh, look. We have an unusual and unexpected guest. As a representative of Net Slum, I greet you. Welcome to paradise. Huh? Oh, monk. You sided with Leos, I see. You cracked easily for someone who was so sure of himself. Don't judge, I'm not like you! Stalking the boy is shameful behavior. You've disgraced the name of the descendant of Fianna. What? Ball monk? You used us? It was necessary. To restore order. Order? There's an order that the world desires, and then there's the order that you desire. Which form should it take, Balmonk? The order that I desire, of course. Oh no, it's the shopkeeper's council! Former. Now all the actors have assembled. Quit your yapping, woman. You are entities that unquestionably pose a grave threat to this world. I'll delete you all! Ah, what did you do? I haven't done anything. This is her doing. It would appear that she doesn't care for us very much. Her? Yes. In other words, this world itself. Selma. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I they feel a little screwed. Could have stayed and helped us. A leaf? 